Hey guys, it's Blurry and I'm back with another AT's video. Um, we're gonna be checking out the AT's showcase thing that they did. So they performed a couple songs from the new album, the most recent album. And then I think they did a couple like older ones as well. So we'll check those out and then we're gonna check out other live stage performances from like the DVD, from one of their concerts and stuff. So yeah, just a bunch of live stuff. So we're gonna start with Bouncy since I've already seen them perform it like a bunch of times. Um, yeah, so let's start with this. What you gonna say? Yeah. She may not be Don't you want a Batman? I got time, but it's not for you, bro. Don't you realize what I'm saying? Hey. What you gonna do? Hey, let's go! If you wanna know how, I can show you right now. We're gonna bounce, bounce, and we're fire, fire. Whoa. Whoa. If you wanna know how, I can show you right now. Wait, so was this the first time that that they were okay? You know, relax. <laughs> Was this the first time that they ever performed Bouncy? Like, they probably did this like right as the album dropped, right? Maybe? Oh yeah, wait, so if the album dropped... If they did this... Okay, come on. <laughs> My brain's working too fast. If they did this showcase when the album dropped, then Bouncy would have already been out. So then people would have already known it. Okay. Because I was thinking, like, if this was the first time they ever performed it, like, no one knew the song or anything yet. And I'm just, like, <laughs> I was laughing because Songwa just comes out of nowhere with the grills and he's, like, a rapper now all of a sudden. And he's, like, rapping super fast. Like, he just did, like, a 180 <laughs> from who he usually is. So it's just so funny. But, okay, let's move on to, I think, Outlaw, I think is what they performed. Wait, sorry, I need to start this over. I I wasn't ready. 
I'm okay. I'm just realizing now that I haven't like I've never seen them perform this song yet. I also really want to see them do Shango, and I don't know if they'll ever perform that, but I really hope that they do. And yeah, it's just nice watching stuff with all eight of them because John Ho like hasn't been there for a, a bit right now. Um, yeah, okay, I'm excited for this. Uh, oh. I got Okay, see, <laughs> I love, okay, I love cameramen, you're amazing, but, <laughs> and like, I love that they zoom in and stuff, because I do like to see them like up close when they're singing and stuff, but at the same time, I just want them to like stay still, like zoomed out a bit, so that I could see the whole choreography, and there's probably, actually there might be other like, versions like recorded versions of this i don't know i'll have to look after this but for now we'll, we'll just watch this one but yeah i think i just want to see all the choreography like full head to toe choreography since it's like a new a new song performance that i haven't watched yet <laughs> Okay, wait, I love that choreo. The just the shoulder thing is so cool. Also, John Ho holding that note for like an extra second or two is like <laughs> okay. Alright, I just want to point out that this is my favorite part of the song when when I guess it's when Mingy comes in and the it's just the beat that I really love because it starts doing that like really deep bass that doom doom doom. I love that. Sorry. I'm getting too excited. <laughs>
Uh, they're so cool. <laughs> That's literally just the best way to describe them. They're so cool. Like, how do people see them and not like them? I don't get it. <laughs> but also, I really, really, really want to know if there's a different recording of this where it's just zoomed out the whole time because the choreo. I need to see the full head-to-toe choreo of everything. Because I don't think they performed this at Break the Wall, like the concerts that they did after this album came out. At least that I know of. If they did, please let me know. Um, yeah, just cool. Really cool. <laughs> I love the, that ending where they were doing that. I don't know. I can't do it. But anyway, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so we got This World, which I haven't seen yet either. So let's see how this one goes. Bro, <laughs> is he real? Oh my god. Black shadow has no fear that he got it all the more much they can get a hundred times on the devil's hand. I don't have a break out of my body to go. Sick of us, take it off. Shut that socket to run out of force. Talk, I can't cover it no more. Shut all the so good. Can't put us on the door. I think I'm falling down here. So it's Do you feel the light? Who the gene of my nigga nine the keys? Now it's time to fight, they bang my life, the nigga dead and I not in my way this war. This ain't got trauma, don't back your two gun, put no weapon to cut a cabura. Go on my gut to go so get that they draw that. Come on, so get more than the two guys with you that's who is the gun. I can take it no more. Put a girl back on that. Oh, 
Ooh, okay. I was just. <laughs> I kept thinking, damn, my bias line is looking really good here. But then I was realizing, like, they literally all look so good. Like, everyone's hair color, the style, the outfits, the skin. Just everything looks so, so good here. Like, I just, I think I like them all in a darker concept. And also it was more, it was like a Halazia kind of vibe with the hoods. And then they had like the, the guy standing there with the long arms. It, it reminded me of like the scarecrow. I don't know if that's like what it's supposed to be. But yeah, they're just cool. Like, oh my God. It's like, do I want to be them or do I want to be with them? <laughs> like, they're like that kind of cool. I'm kind of like mad at myself for waiting this long to watch these. Because I just kept forgetting about them and then like putting them off for other stuff. Uh, like I wish that I watched these forever ago because it it makes like the song better to have a choreography with it. At least for me. Not that I like didn't already love these songs. Like these songs are amazing already but it this just made them like even better if that was possible. And I kind of like that they like what they did with the logo here. I'm assuming this is like their their like official thing that they did for this okay they also did utopia so i'm excited because i don't think that i've watched this live yet like any version of it so yeah Hold up my It's crazy how much louder Jonko's voice is. And I mean, I know he's using like a handheld mic and I think that makes it louder anyways. But I feel like he just also projects really loud because that's just the kind of singer that he is. And it's just funny to hear the difference. No more, yeah. I <laughs> I don't think I ever realized that was Songwa. Did I know that? I don't think I did. I think I just assumed it was Jongho. Okay, does everyone agree with me on this? That <laughs> this look on Mingi is like honestly top three on him. Like, I'm not talking about the style or anything, but like the hair, like this era that he had with the short pink hair. Something about it was dangerous. 
<laughs> I really like his hair shorter like this. I know some people like love long hair, but I don't know. He hits different with short hair. Tell me that you're no more. Wow, I <laughs> I can't believe that I I feel like I did know that and it, I just forgot completely about Songwa doing that like high note part. Cause I must have noticed like in the music video that it was like his part when he was singing, right? But I think I watched this music video so long ago, and since then I've just like listened to the song, just like on a playlist or whatever, and I just assumed that it was Jong Ho because it was like. I don't know, just a big high note. That's like Jong Ho's part. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. That's like my favorite part of the song too. I can't believe that I didn't realize that. But yeah, anyway, they all look really, really good. <laughs> I'm literally like staring at all of them like, wow, this was a great phase for each of them. I love like each of their hair on them. I think I just really like when everyone has like darker hair. I know Hong Joon has the blue. But I think I'm just a fan of like dark hair in general. I was never into like blondes. Well, Mingy has the pink as well, which is <laughs> looks really good on him. But um, yeah, for the most part, I think I like just dark, like natural hair. Um, yeah, so that's it for the showcase that they did, the Outlaw Showcase. Um, and now we're gonna check out three songs from their fellowship DVD tour thing. So the first one is Rocky. I haven't seen this live yet. And when I first checked out this this song and like the music video, I liked it, but I wasn't like, oh my god, I'm in love with this song. But as I listen to playlists, like usually when I'm just doing like random, I don't know, craft and stuff, I always put on just like an 80s playlist of just all their songs. And then um, like when Rocky comes on now, I like really love it. So it's just a song that grew on me. So I'm excited to see them perform it live. Oh wait, was this a concert that they couldn't like scream or anything? Cause I heard like the little clapper things. Oh, 
너를 챔피언 되고 현장부터 세고 시간은 흐르고 It's funny that they're all in like casual kind of outfits and then Jungkook comes in with like the full suit like buttoned all the way up. I love that. That they couldn't. <laughs> no, I, I'm not saying that I hated the the performance. <laughs> I hate that they can't like scream after. I hate that they have to use those stupid clappers. But like, I get it. You know, it was it was a thing that had to be done at the time. But ugh, I just want to like scream. Um, and it must feel weird like having to perform to people that can't like scream. Like it must feel so quiet and like empty after. But, I mean, they still did an amazing job. They were giving, like, 150%. <laughs> I really love at the first, like, breakdown kind of part where you know had a little, like, dance break. It was kind of like a crumping dance. I really like that. And I know, I haven't even watched, like, the real, I don't think I've watched the real, like, them performing it in concerts. I don't think I've watched that yet. But I know that they have, like, the little dance break thing at the end where they would all like do different things so i'm excited to get to those too but that's what it like made me think of when i saw that okay now we're gonna check out the fever medley which is good little boy the leaders and to the beat and this is the same fellowship concert dvd thing <laughs> Bro, Hong Jun is so cool. Like, 
<laughs> just his presence, just the way he is. He's just a cool dude. <laughs> Before to the beat starts, um, <laughs> San's whole persona in this song, I cannot deal with that. <laughs> the very, like, large and in charge, serious, I can't do it. <laughs> like, imagine, I mean, probably some of you have already, like, gone to concerts, but imagine being there, like, like right here and he's looking at you like that like no thank you sir just move your body your body want to sajiri jayu look at your mouth hey you got the club left and i got it more hey sure hey they're not allowed to jump. There's a jumping man. What are they doing? 
That shitty clap at the end oh they're literally so cool that's like i know i've said that a million times already this video but like that's like the highest compliment that i can think of right now like i feel like that's that's what i say when i just really love something they're just cool like because what other word could you say that like explains that like how they are <laughs> they're just fucking cool <laughs> like oh my god and y'all saying like excuse me sir not okay it's not okay to do that i was already thinking he looks so good with that the outfit that he's wearing like that the black with the white block jacket like it already looks really good but then he like when this song first started he did like that little Boom. like he was doing some, <laughs> some kind of break dancing kind of thing so i was already like oh like that's kind of hot but then like a hello like i feel like every time i watch something new of ats i'm like upset at myself for waiting so long to watch it because it's just <laughs> everything that i watch of theirs is just like as good as the last thing you know like nothing ever disappoints and it's like, this is like all I could do because I don't know how to express myself properly. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's go to the last song, which is Take Me Home, which I freaking love that song. Over and over again. 
That is so cool, the way that they did that ending. I, w I didn't even like realize that they were disappearing one at a time until Son disappeared. <laughs> that was so cool. And the fact that like, especially the beginning, the way it started, like the fact that all these people had to sit there and watch that and not be able to <laughs> scream. <laughs> like, what do they do? I would literally have to like duct tape my mouth. <laughs> Oh my god. That was so like pretty like oh that song is so good but then like the, all the outfits were so pretty and just the way that the whole thing was set up but especially that ending was so cool. I have to watch it again. I have to like pay attention now. Ooh, okay, I saw it that time, obviously. Um, more so with Yunho, I think, than anybody, because I could see little feet behind the thing, like, walking. <laughs> but wow, okay. I love them live. They're seriously, like, I fall more in love with them every time I watch them live. I'm really, like, not a big concert person, so I just assumed, like, I would probably never go to a K-pop concert just because... I don't know it's just not my scene but ATs really makes me want to go to one <laughs> so I don't know maybe we'll see in the future but yeah that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys for watching these with me and I'll see you next time bye